What's up guys and welcome back for another EVE Online video. In this one I want to talk about long term investments. Um, I think there's like a three pillars of like really being successful uh, money wise in EVE. A lot of it is it has to do, one of them is like your active income. So that'd be your mining, your ratting, your faction warfare, uh, LP flips, anything like that. Anything that you have to go and produce something or do something to get a return on. The other one would be passive income. That would be income that it kind of generates while you're not playing or while you're doing something else like PI or something like that, which those are <coughs> passive income is super important for uh, just funding your fun, as it were. The other one is just like long term investment and kind of just uh, sitting on assets for a for a fixed long duration to have some sort of value or profit after a certain amount of time now the one of the most obvious ones is plex now a lot of my investment is done in plex and for the most part my plex wallet is kind of like a black hole you know a lot goes in nothing really comes out and one of the big reasons i started actually investing a lot of my isk into plex is because while plex can go down in value and up in value having raw isk just kind of sitting in your wallet will only ever really decrease in value the the main uh, the main example i can give on this is whenever i started playing you could fully fit an orca buy the hull buy the fit uh and you could do it for like 900 million whereas today three years later you are going to spend over two bill just for the hull itself so if you were just holding isk in your wallet for three years that isk would essentially be worth less now to also uh kind of contrast that a little bit too back then you know the plex we would see i would say if we could find plex for like 2.9 or 3 million that was a fast hard sell uh, but it would average somewhere in the neighborhood of like 2.5 to 2.7 million per plex. And from then to now, now plex is uh, almost uh, almost doubled actually. So I'm going to go ahead and go in here to the market. We're sitting here in Jita, just kind of looking at stuff. So right now, buy order for plex 4.8. So that's that's considerably higher than when I was just by three years ago and the sell order is actually over five million right now so a lot of what I do is whenever I reach a certain point I usually try to keep like a couple of bill in liquid is just in case I need to uh, purchase something like skills or if I need to get a ship fit or you know replace a ship or whatever the case may be but for the most part, whenever I you know get over ten bill uh, in ISK, I immediately, pro I immediately just convert as much of that as I can through buy orders to Plex where it sits, because you could realistically invest in Plex at a one point and you know let's say you invest like a hundred million or a hundred billion rather into Plex, and then you could very realistically in three years be. Um, sitting at 200 million in, uh, in value or 200 billion in value so needless to say plex if you're trying to like just build up your net worth uh, plex is one of the really good ways to go i also just kind of hold on to like harder to uh, acquire ships so like this marshal here is literally just a <clears throat> i built this marshal probably like a year and a half ago um and at the time they were a little a little north of uh they were almost like eight bill or so a piece, and now the marshals. Let's go ahead and look at the uh, the market value on these, and I just kind of hold it for fun. But buy order at eight point nine, and then sell order at nine point four. So these have realistically just in the past like twelve months, these have gone up, you know, a bill in value as well. The um, the material, the input material has gone up a little bit to build them. I, I used to be able to build them for like nine hundred and some change, nine hundred million some change. But now it costs a little bit over. It'll cost like 1.1 bill or 1.2 bill. So the margin is still really great. But for the ships like this, I just like them. And, um, the Enforcer, the Pacifier. When I build these off of BPC, they kind of just hold them. And that kind of still works towards my 
my net worth but the big thing I've been doing lately is I've been just kind of collecting skins now I have a lot of the biosecurity skills our skins because I do a lot of project discovery this tune is actually almost like 2000 level 2000 on that um, but also I wanted to really kind of make this video to mainly talk about event skins and kind of holding them long term now these green ones as you can see these are new these are uh, from the new Twitch drops that are going on right now. And now that Eve actually has Twitch drops, the skins that come out of them are going to be uh, worth a little bit now. But as time goes on and their availability goes down, um, the rarity go of them goes up and the price will also go up. This one dropped a little bit since yesterday because a lot of people are... All the price was actually pretty decent because I ended up getting it like exactly two hours after it was uh, available which was like the soonest you could get it so it what you'll see is it'll bottom out and then after that twitch drop campaign is over probably like a few weeks or a few months this price will go back up so i like just kind of holding on to skins or outfits or whatever and kind of just like right now this is uh everything in here is worth like a 13 bill but i can expect that are a lot of these uh, twitch drop skins and a lot of these other event skins those prices will just keep going up over time now will i ever sell these i don't know um, a lot of what i'm doing is trying to uh increase my my net worth overall so that it doesn't actually matter if i hold them or if i sell them it really kind of just depends and also the biosecurity stuff is not really worth a whole lot but <clears throat> i enjoy opening these and just uh, trying to collect i have almost all of them there's 247 uh, skins. I have almost all of them on my main, with the exception of some of the rare ones, like the Titan ones and stuff like that. And what I've started doing now is just kind of doing Project Discovery on all my tunes like I normally do. And just kind of, instead of selling the crates, uh, I just bring them over here, open them, and then stack them. And my goal is just try to see if I how long it takes me to get all uh, 247 or so of them. <clears throat> but the, uh, the main point, of this video is just to like talk about the long-term investment strategy you can do this with anything really you can um, decide on a certain commodity you can uh, buy a certain commodity on buy order for like say you like you know for for just as an example let's say you buy like a billion worth of trit and you just you know you log that price that you paid and then you know your whole intention is to sit on that for like you know several years and then you know constantly compare what the current value is versus what you paid uh, and decide if you want to sell or not. Trit is probably not a good example because Trit is a pretty stable commodity, but if you're buying anything in bulk on the market in terms of doing long-term investment, logging that um, and looking at those returns is probably a, a good strategy. But I think that going out like, so for a, I think for a lot of people, a lot of people just kind of are more active uh, income. So a lot of people are logging in, they're doing um, their activity, whether it be like ratting, manufacturing or um, faction warfare or PvP or whatever the case may be and I think that's fine active income is a vital part of fueling the ability to replace your ships or buy new stuff or whatever but also uh, looking at things in terms of getting some passive income going because it, you know, on some days where you're not able to play or let's say if you're not able to mine or you're not able to rat like you know you don't want to have any gaps in your income stream so looking into options for passive income and long-term investments just gives you more things to piddle with and more things to kind of uh, strategize with and things. I just wanted to give you guys an idea of what I do for long-term investment. So just to recap, uh, event skins, uh, any sort of event stuff that, you know, essentially after the event's over goes up in value. And then a uh, Plex, obviously. And it's not just skins either. Like any ships that are uh, unique to certain events, uh, I'll hold. Um, you'll see a lot of people selling a lot of those ships when they get them out on events. For a decent amount but if you hold them actually for like six months or so then they <clears throat> the return on them is even even better so I, I will do a follow-up to this video probably in like six months to a year and we'll kind of uh, contrast where we are now and like kind of where we are then and uh kind of look at how uh the the stockpile is kind of uh going but anyway thank you for watching and uh hit the like button hit the subscribe button if you haven't already uh, use the referral link on your account new or old use that in the description below you'll get 1 million skill points that helps with the channel as well 
And if you want to also support the channel, consider becoming a channel member and all that stuff goes a long way in the content I produce. And I appreciate you guys' uh, support and everything and look for more EU Online videos to come. Peace out.